Okay, so this is the new box. Um, I am designing this for the first time this way. Uh, I've made plenty of these before, and I'll try to keep this um, short so that you can just get the gist of it. Obviously, here's where the um, plugs will go. And I have a diagram on my whiteboard of exactly how I want to make it. You can see that I made the top 17 and a quarter inches. I made the height of the sideboards 13. These will be the legs. They'll be attached to the back side, and they'll be two feet with, uh, with feet that stretch out. Oh, I think I made them about a foot. So this is only going to be two feet off the ground. So this is the outside shell. And whenever I'm all finished with this, this will actually have a complete uh, door over top of it with hinges. So let's keep building and see what happens. Okay, here is uh, the next step, which I have run some wires. These are 14 three wires. I've got two hot wires and the neutral and the ground. And I've done that for all of them. And what I hope to do is, because I used 14 three wire, is I now just save the amount of wire that I ran. I have a lot of 14 two, but um, 14 three has the has three wires. It's less running of wires. And here's how I did it. Now this is exterior 14 two or 14 three, and I labeled them which channels I've connected them to. So I've got channel one and two, channel five and six, channel three and four, and channel seven eight. And what that'll do is whenever I actually let me reach over here. I'll, uh, I'll hook one of these guys up here, and the top row will be one, two, three, four. Bottom row will be five, six, seven, and eight. So that's how it's going to go. Let me flip this over. And you can see here are the cords bent underneath here. I, uh, Never the neatest wirer to ever do this, but uh, I'll um, I'll connect all of these and ground these right to the box. Uh, all of my ground wires. Um, you can see that I wired in series, and I kept everything together so that it doesn't get uh, disorganized. But um, you'll notice there's only one neutral wire going to each plug, and that's because each outlet. I won't have to snip the uh, the little tines that are on. See this? There's there's that little tine right there. And then there's a little tine right there. And what I'll do is I will on this side I will snip I will snip the one. This I believe that the left side here is the black. I will snip the black side, but I won't snip the right side. And that way it'll share a common ground between the two plugs thereby saving me more wire and more of these little uh, female spades that go onto the male spades. So that's the progress so far. Alright, and here is the finished wiring project to the card. You'll see that I have added the power cord right here. The power cord is actually a 12 gauge wire. It's actually a 12 gauge extension cord I got for really cheap at Lowe's. Probably 75% off the regular price. Uh, I had I used them those exclusively for my controllers. I actually got it in a hundred foot segment and um, I actually cut off the female end and saved enough so that I could use it to solder onto something else if I want to. But as you can see I've uh, Taken all the grounds from the right channel or the right the right part of the card and wired them together. And all my grounds are actually grounded to the box right here. Then I have the left grounds; those are here, wire knotted together with its own separate ground wire. So there's three ground wires. The third one obviously is coming from the outlet. And uh, I think this is probably the neatest one that I've ever made. 
Uh, also, I think I showed you before, I, um, I, I labeled the uh, wires actually coming in. I labeled them down here as well on the other side. You can't see them. But the reason I, I labeled them is because this card in particular gave me some trouble. And if it should happen that I need to remove the card and put a new card in uh, place of this, all of these will be numbered so that I can just unplug and replug it into the new card. Should I have to, let's say something broke and I had to ship it back to uh, Lightarama, then, then it's no big deal. All right, and now I just flipped it over. And obviously, you can see the labels. So this is one and two going back to going back to here. Five and six going back to here. Nine and ten will be here. And then uh, 13, 14. And then obviously, like I numbered them so that I don't have to think about it whenever uh, I go to cutting and splicing and, and doing all the wiring and so forth. So next step is to uh, wire all of the... Um, wire in all the outlets. And here we are. We have the final product. Uh, well, it's not quite final, but um, as you can see, uh, I connected up all the wires and I've put the face plates on, but when you come down here and you look at, I uh, labeled these one and two, five and six. So those went straight back to one and two, five and six. Now, how I set it up was the evens were all red and the odds were all black. Um, and you can verify that through just looking how you wired it up. And as long as you stay consistent, you can have pretty much um, uh, you can have pretty much a uh, simple way of matching them up. Let's say let's say this outlet goes bad. I can strip this off, pop it off. I left enough wire inside that I can cut off where I slid it in to the actual back of the uh, outlet, I can cut it off there, put a new outlet in, screw it in or push it in and then put it right back in and get it right back out to the display. Um, but pretty much these are all black, all the evens are red, so it's black, red, black, red, black, red. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, I didn't even bother trimming these off because, you know, what the hell. Um, nobody's gonna see them because uh, when I'm actually done with with the uh, with the box I still have a door I'm gonna put some hinges right over here and it'll have a f open door now you'll notice that there that there's a steep a steepness to this box and that is so because the bottom is open obviously for a reason and that's so the extension cords can lay down below the top how I put the top together there's no way for any water to get into here because of the construction of the outside of the box is over the top and it's over the back of the board and what I'll actually do is I'll go through a silicone and I'll run silicone into all of these crevices and when I put the door on I will put some weather stripping right along here. The outside of the box gets painted. I have green and red paint so I can paint them. And um, this was a free box, this uh, cable box. And then um, I have some legs that I uh, will build and attach. I'll, I'll build and attach some legs that will go right here, right here along the side here and along there. And uh, it'll sit on the ground nice and easily no issues or nothing. So uh, that's the project. Um, it'll be ready to go out in the display for next year, that's for sure. All right, hope you enjoyed this.